so like here's the deal. I wanted Cynthia Nixon to win. I, I believe that she had a campaign that I, even I believed in. And, and then I saw the Jewish rabbi get out from behind the camera and yell at her on New York One. I, I saw this and I did not like what I saw. And because at the end of the day, she dropped out the very next day. And, and crooked Governor Andrew Cuomo won. I, I really think Cynthia Nixon would have been able to handle the pandemic better than he, he did. And, and in a more digestible manner. And because at the end of the day, not only she's a woman and stuff like that, she has missed sex in the city. And I also heard the words the Jewish rabbi threaten her with anti-Semitism and stuff. How are you going to persecute a Jewish person for anti-Semitism? And, and this is where it all see and I says, ah, I, I wish you people would. And I wish you people would persecute me and other people as well. I don't like that, kids. And there will be consequences if, if those actions were to take place. Then at the end of the day, your little heaven, well, at the end of the day, we just throw that down there, kids. And it's gone, it's gone, kids. Oh, oh, this shit's fucking gone. You want to go, you reach in, just call that down there. Reach your fucking hand in there, huh? Uh-uh. Well, there's nobody else in here, kids. Oh, I guess I could. If I really wanted to. I have a nasty hand, kids. Do you really want to have it back? I really don't want you people to have it. You don't want to fuck it. <laughs> done and done. So at the end of the day, you know, people don't have to believe me, but at the end of the day, I, I'm, I'm going to stand up for Miss Nixon and say, you know what? If you people even dare think seriously, there will be consequences, kids. And, and we can throw all of those promises of heaven and, and all of those promises of favoritism all that, in the trash kids. And, and all that. Because I, I believe in Cynthia Nixon. I wanted her to win. And, and it, it's not so much about me and being president. It, it's about the cause Cynthia Nixon ran for. And that's why I'm not really mad at her for running and copying my campaign. She probably doesn't even know my campaign. So at the end of the day, with all the things that and done, I was cheering that woman on, kids, and, and so was New York. And at the end of the day, I, the things that rabbi said to her made her scare her, made her drop out of the race, and I'm well aware of this, kids. And I would like Cynthia Nixon to run again, and, and at the end of the day, maybe I'll run with her. And I'd like to meet her someday and get her autograph. Miss Nixon, will you sign my Sex in the City DVD collection? Will you have Miss Sarah Jessica Parker? I'll have this Sarah Jessica Parker do it anytime I want. I know where that woman lives. She's a nice lady and stuff. Don't even and dare touch those nice girls. Those are my Jewish princesses. 